right, putting the stabilizer on. So off camera, there's a cardboard spar. I cut out the little squares on the top of the fuselage and slipped it right in and glued it. And then there's two stabilizers. He said, put the one on as a test. Um, and underneath there's a couple of struts. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do the other half. Very simple. It certainly isn't like the, the loner, I tell you that. So this, you just have to be careful when you fold it. You don't want to crimp the front leading edge. And then those pieces there are cut in. And that's so that you'll make a nice front edge. And they're also curled over. So I'm trying to point out that the leading edge is actually just very gently curled like a little spit curl. And that will help make a nice um, edge and make it look like a good solid stabilizer. There's no internal structure on these, which kind of makes me nervous. Because usually when they make stuff like this, what ends up happening is they just look flat. But I guess I've done enough of these that I'm kind of careful. So here you just start putting glue around very carefully around the very, very edges. And get that all ready. And then you just fold this puppy down. And just make sure you come in contact and don't have any overlap. And make sure it's in line. Because um, it has to be in line, otherwise you're going to get kind of twists and things in it. Even so, I got a slight twist in it. I really prefer surfaces that actually have structure inside them. But again, this is a very simplified kit. And it's very refreshing. It's very nice. It's really done and designed well. And if you're, I guess, more careful than I, you probably wouldn't get a twist in it at all. But I notice both of these, when I'm done, a little bit of a twist. Nothing terrible. But I prefer having an, an internal internal uh, ribs and such. Anyway, making sure the end is nice. And once that's on, it just slides right on there like that. And you can see there's a piece of uh, print on there that shows exactly where the root is supposed to go. And if you do it right, you'll hide that little spar. The other side is really hidden. This side ends up being a tiny little piece on there, which is okay. It doesn't look bad whatsoever. But that's what you're going for. And it's plenty strong. So all you do is add a little glue to that spar. Um, now a whole lot, I found that if you put too much glue on spars, what they end up doing is just looking like a big, you know, solid glue spot in the middle of your, your skins there. They just look kind of fakey. You can see this, see this big spar sticking through them. So I tend to make go light on it. And in this one, I'm putting glue on the inside. Um, but making sure it overlaps and is actually on the edge because it's just butt joined on there. And that combined with the spar, it'll be plenty strong, it'll be straight. But you got to make sure you put it on the edge because you're trying to just push this thing up against the base of that fuselage, base of the, of the essentially the fin area. And you want to make sure it contacts everything nice and solid um, and fills the little gap. So I'll take a little extra glue off of there. Then you just slide this puppy on. That's a real easy operation. Like I said, this is such a joy. It's so easy. Slide that on like that, and you can see it goes right up against the edge. And I'm making sure I'm putting a little bit of pressure inward to make sure it comes in contact and holding it. I'm also using my middle finger and my thumb to kind of squeeze the spar tad so the glue will start tacking up there. And then you can see I kind of move down the stabilizer. While making sure that the while making sure that the stabilizer doesn't come away from the base there, um, then you just sort of check it. You make sure it's straight. Now this model so far has been incredibly straight and beautifully designed again by the people who made it. So as long as you're accurate with your cutting so far, everything is coming together nice. Everything's nice and perpendicular. The rudder fin, beautiful. So here's one strut I already made, and all we do that's the, the leading edge strut. Um, and you just put it on. And there are location marks underneath the, um, on the fuselage. Oh, and there it is before you cut it out. And I'll show you. I cut it out just to show you. That's where it, that's how it starts. Um, there are the location marks on the other side. I noticed that this is printed kind of funny. The fuselage, there's little marks, obviously, where it goes. But I noticed when I put it down, there's no mark on that side on the stabilizer. Whereas there was on the other side. So I'm kind of looking at it right now going, hmm. All I have to do is make sure I match it up. It goes, make sure you put it in the same place as the other side. That's a little, must be a little printing error on the, on the model. Um, anyway, but the fuselage one is there, so it's easy to put the fuselage one up there and then basically drop the one that goes onto the tail. And I just made sure that it was in the same location. Um, it has to be just forward of that leading edge line there. 
little panel line and I'm making sure that it looks the same on both sides and she does looks fine and uh, a little extra glue will come right off and let it dry it'll be fine and strong and look good so now the other side is more of the same um, but I'm just going to show you because it it's not hard at all but I just want to show you what the steps are so very simply um, you cut that piece out. There's no internal wire or anything like that. It's just a flat piece. Probably in the real airplane it was airfoiled, but this looks fine. Or maybe you're supposed to be careful. Um, now there's two little tick marks in the middle, and I'm lining up my little ruler because what I'm going to do is pre-emboss um, um, that a little bit so that it will bend and it'll fold over on itself and make a nice little strut. So I'm using the back end of the knife, not the not the blade end using sort of the top of the blade knife part. Um, so there's nothing sharp hitting it. Although you gotta be careful because you can cut through the paper easy just by even dragging that. Anyway, cut that out as, as you imagine, color the edges. You also gotta recolor the front end uh, because when, it, when I folded it over, of course it left a white mark at that fold. But just make sure it's all nice and uh, even. Then I kind of squeeze and crimp and because you've already made a little fold, uh, it folds right in half, like you're. Oh, it looks like you're making a cigarette to me. Um, having never done that, it's kind of what it must look like. Anyway, made a little V out of that, and then I add my little white glue in there, all the way along. Not too much, not too little. You just want to make sure it's tacky and that it'll glue together. You don't want this delaminating or something. Squeeze it together a little bit, and then I take my the the ruler and kind of squish it. And then that gets it nice and nice and gluable. Oh, it's on the back side, dummy. Um, and wipe off the excess glue. And now this part here, it's still white on the tip. That's where I embossed it, sort of. So I go back. Oh, using the wrong end of the little marker. It's easier to use the thick fat end for this stuff. And I go ahead and just kind of recolor that so that it looks nice. Um, not 100% necessary. You could use paint or whatever, pastel whatever you have, I find that these little water soluble markers have worked fine for everything I've made so far. Uh, my Linsky model, I took the time to actually mix some paint. Um, and you can see on the other side, it's just a little V. So it goes up against the fuselage side and then drops down right onto the stabilizer. No problemo. So I put a little glue on either side. I put it on the fuselage part and then just drop it down where it's supposed to go on the stab. And there it is. And the glue will dry it, make it look good. Nothing's going anywhere. And um, sweet, it looks just fine. So uh, now I'm just checking to make sure both sides look the same. Um, you're not gonna hold the airplane upside down and look at that, but those struts are part of the character. It's like an ME109, early E models. You know, they need the, they need the strut back there to be right. Now there's a little dot printed there and there on the fin and there on the stabilizer. And that is where a little piece of rigging goes. So believe it or not, we got to rig this airplane, but you'll see it takes three seconds to rig, especially with elastic thread. So same old, same old. For those who hasn't, haven't seen, measure with dividers a little bit shorter than it's going to be um, because you want to stretch this elastic thread a little bit. Um, Bring it out here as best you can and kind of guesstimate where it's going to be. If you, if you make it long, that's okay because you can always cut it and then refit it a little bit like with a pair of scissors I have, for instance, I use in those cases. Um, but now I take a little bit of my super glue, my thick super glue, and I put a little dab on the fin. And I'm using my, by the way, I got my visors on so I can be really close and put a very tiny, tiny amount. The idea is you don't put a big blob on there and look really bad. Then I put a touch of accelerator on the end of the uh, elastic thread. And then I just carefully put it into that little puddle right where that uh, glue and that mark is. And it, it pretty instantaneously solidifies there. Nice. 
And now you just got to put it on the other side. I kind of grab it and make sure that it um, makes it to the other side, which it does and doesn't, you know, stretch too much. Uh, fin's not going anywhere, but you got to make sure that sometimes, like I built, also like that submarine, I can pull things apart. Even with this elastic thread, you can make things wonky. I even had it on the loaner a little bit. A little bit of glue again where it's going to attach. Make sure you put the end, a little super, or a little accelerator on the end. I may try to push it away from that edge because the fumes will solidify the glue and then you're kind of messed up. Touch it. Wait a second. Two seconds. Boom. It's done. Looks nice. Definitely um, fits the part, plays the part. And uh, you do the other side. And uh, there it is. Um, oh. Yeah, just to remind you, I already put the one side on. Another th another run through, a little dot of glue, very carefully, very little. Put too much on, you can kind of take a bit off. I use my finger usually. Um, uh, accelerator, grab it, go ahead, bring it over, and touch it and hold. And um, you got to have steady hands to do this um, because you, you wiggle around, you'll mess it up. But there she is. The whole back end, except for the tail wheel, is done. So um, that worked really well. Um, and the back end looks good. And here I just kind of roll it around so you can see the top side um, and also the uh, also the lower struts. So you can see it's very convincing, especially from you know not millimeters away. It looks really slick. This is a really, really nice model. I'd say this is a good first paper model, in fact.